Hey guys, what's up? Maxwell Alexander here, and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am Maxwell Alexander and you are watching Makeup by Maxwell. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. So as you can tell by the title of today's video, we are doing this very soft, romantic, glamorous date night look. It almost feels like I have absolutely no makeup on my face at all. It's just very, very simple. Something that you can do every day that you can also take from day to night if you so choose. Without further ado, let's get into today's romantic date night look tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start with is the eyes today. I've already done my foundation and my eyebrows. If you guys would like to see how I do that, you can always check out my full face makeup tutorial video. Um, I will link it in the description below. Today we're going to be using the Blushed Nudes Palette by Maybelline. I absolutely adore this palette. It is one of the nicer ones that they came out with. These colors in here are absolutely stunning. So the first shade in this palette that we are going to be using today is this darker kind of rosy color here. And we're just going to dip into this and we're going to use this as our transition shade today. Now that we have that beautiful transition shade down, I'm going to go into the outer corners here with this nice, really nice brown shade here. And this is just going to deepen up this outer corner and give it some more definition. We don't want it to be too, too much because we do want to keep this look nice, soft, and romantic. And now using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to run over all of that color and make sure that it is very well blended together. And make sure that we have absolutely no harsh lines as well. Never want any harsh lines. That was my biggest, that was the biggest thing that was ever said to me when doing makeup. Blend, 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 no harsh lines. So now that we have our transition color down and we've got those inner corners finished, we are now going to take this really, really beautiful kind of peachy color here and we're going to put this in our inner corners uh, and bring it halfway up the lid and also down into the uh, bottom of our waterline here as well. Now we've got, now that we have that peachy kind of pinky shade in the corner of the eyes, we are going to take a new eyeshadow brush and we're going to go in with this beautiful pastel baby pink shade and that's going to go on the middle of our lid. Now just to give it that little bit of extra pop, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back in with this beautiful kind of purpley color here and I'm going to sweep this just underneath the eye here. Alright, so now that we have all of the shadows down and everything is blended for the gods, it is time to go in with our eyeliner for the day. So for today's eyeliner, I am using the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in the color Bubbly, and this is going to go right into my waterline. Liner is completely finished now. Today I'm going to be using the mascara that I have been loving the most. It just came out and everybody on YouTube is talking about it right now. 
Uh, it's the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It works absolute wonders. You guys have seen me put on my mascara before, so I'm gonna go and do my mascara off camera, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that our mascara is finally complete, and these eyes are done, it is time to move on to contour, blush, and highlight. Three of my all-time favorite things, if I do say so myself. First off, we are going to start off with the contour, and of course we are using the Smashbox Contour Palette. So we're going to carve out these cheekbones and make us look super, super snatched. Can you see that? Oh, so sharp. But don't worry because we are going to do some baking underneath of this, and we're also going to blend this out a little bit more with some bronzer as well. So now taking a beauty blender and my Marcel face powder in translucent, we are going to put some of this just underneath this contour here and we're gonna bake this out a little bit. So while my face bakes, we're actually going to move on to the bronzer and we're also going to do the blush. And then after that will be highlight. So I am going in with a bronzing brush. Today we're using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer uh, in shade Sun Bronze number 22. Try and blend that contour out a little bit. A little bit of bronzer just to give us some nice color in our cheeks. And then of course we are going to be going over with a beautiful, beautiful blush right after this. We're also going to bronze the temples as well and give us a little bit more. So, Because it is summer, I do like to look a little bit more tan and the rest of my body is really tan, but my face never is. So I do like to make it look like I have a little bit of something going on. So now that uh, we are finished with the bronzer and we are finished with the contour, we are just going to get rid of all this extra powder on our face after baking and voila. The contour and bronzer is done. Let's move on to our blush. Today I'm using the Sephora blush palette. This palette is absolutely incredible. You guys saw it in my favorites. This really, really beautiful, nice pink shade here. I'm not sure if you got, if it's coming across or not, but it is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. And this is just going to go very lightly because we are wanting to keep this more of a softer look. So we don't want to go too heavy with the blush. And that's just gonna go over like the apples of our cheeks a little bit, but we're gonna try and keep that on the far side because we're also going to do a highlight over top of this. All right, so now that we have that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blush all down, our highlighter, and today I am using the Strobe of Genius Highlight Palette. This comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different highlighters. I think today we are going to use this nice light pink just because we are going for that pinky kind of romantic feel today. And we're just going to take this shade and that's just going right above where we put that blush. You could bring it up as well, up to the temple and around the eye if you so choose. Today I think I'm going to, because I'm kind of feeling it, and I like kind of that extra, that little bit extra, because God knows I am extra. So extra. And we're also going to put some of that highlight right down the nose. And also don't forget to hit that Cupid's bow. Now that we have our blush and our highlight done, there is only one thing left to do, and that today is lips. So for lips today, I am going in with the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink. I know this was in my disappointments, except for this color. So far, this is the only color that I haven't had an issue with. 
like I said in my previous video, if you haven't gotten to check out my um, monthly favorites video, make sure you go and check it out because it's actually really, really good. And uh, I have some amazing products in there. These, the bolder colors of them, I don't even have them in front of me right now. I think I put them back away in the vault of makeup I don't use. Um, which will be another video coming soon because there is quite a bit of makeup that I don't actually use that I've bought. Which is kind of funny, but yeah. So we are in the shade Lover number 15 and we're going to use this on our lips today. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this romantic date night tutorial. I really enjoyed filming this video for you guys. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. There is a giveaway going on at the end of August. I cannot stress this enough. It is for a piece of jewelry from a brass jewelry. It is a ring that they donated to me. It is made completely out of brass and plated in sterling silver. It is absolutely gorgeous so you will not want to miss out on that so make sure you subscribe to my channel it would be greatly 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 appreciated but until i see you guys next time as always peace love and hugs bye guys Mwah. and now using wow just throw my shit all over the place <laughs>